So with this apartment, living with stuff that inspires me, plain and simple, stuff that just inspires me when I look at it. It sparks joy. I get like psyched when I see where I live, how I'm living, the things I'm living with, I get psyched. This is my studio, right? I need to be turned on creatively here. And I feel like I'm doing a good job of that. Uh, my name is Kunle Martins. Um, and I'm born and raised in New York City. Like right before I ran away, I started exploring, like cutting school. I was already into graffiti, was really bad at that, bad at skateboarding, like wasn't able to do it or be a part of it, but wanted to. And like, you know, we all know what that looks like, right? Like the person who is just like so lame, but has the most enthusiasm for the thing, but doesn't do the thing. That was me, right? And for graffiti and skateboarding. I started skateboarding late, like when I was like 15 or like, I was like late in the game. Like me and my brother would go to the public library after school. The public library would put like paper Lizzie's. So I would like tear the Lizzie's out of like the mad magazine. But then like I came back around to the skate magazines and I was like looking through them and it's like something about like the way people were fucking dressed, the angles, the fisheye was catching them doing like tricks and stuff. Right? Like just like the hair, the attitude, like the everything. I was just like, yo. Like the goosebumps, like, yo, I have to have this. Take the Lizzie out of that magazine, bring that home. Like studying the skate magazine. Never ridden a skateboard in my life, but like I need to be a part of like whatever this is. And eventually I went down to Union Square and I was like, yo, there were kids like jumping over garbage cans that were turned to their side, doing flips. That was fucking dope. I felt like I was like let into like the club. You're supposed to be here. That's all. Just pretend like you're supposed to be here. Astor Place was a thing and I was just hanging out at Astor Place and then from Astor Place came Washington Square Park because park people would walk to Astor Place and be all ravery and weird and like not have skateboards and just like hang out and we'd be like, ah, oh, park people. Eventually I went down to the banks and I was like, oh my fucking God. People jumping over the fucking wall into traffic. Like, like real actual pro skaters. Like you could tell they were pro. Like they would go fast, do a thing mad confidently and then land and roll away confidently and then do another trick and land it. It was like, I was like, yo, this is fucking sick. Like I was like every fucking week, it was like ill. It was like, an Ill. like the 90s were fucking sick. <laughs> Consulted my friend Wack STF and he wrote graffiti. He came up with Iraq one day and racking to me was like the most crude language for shoplifting. Ears Nut was like, it came from like a skateboard magazine. I was reading Slap Magazine and I saw the word Earshot, but it looked like it said Ears Nut. Oh, that would be a cool tag because I was changing my tag all the time because I was really bad. And people started saying that they saw Ears Nut up. And I'm like, but there's mad graffiti everywhere all the time. Like, how are you seeing this one thing? This wall is like one of the first walls that I hit and got like fame from. I hit it. And then I was like psyched that I hit it. I had the jitters of it being a dope spot. Like, oh my God, this is crazy. I can't believe I'm gonna do this. And I did it. But then also, literally everyone saw it, like, it put me up there. It took a while for me to be comfortable with myself enough to be like, I'm an artist, to another human being in a like conversation that I didn't know, introducing myself as an artist. That took some doing. My childhood mind was telling me like, you don't leave a job to be an artist. And my adult right now setting was like, yo, you, you gotta try this at least once before you're dead. This is a perfect opportunity. So cool. The devotion to like whatever it is that you're doing, right? The love for it, that fucking comes through. In some insane Disney fucking like story, right? I'm good. Today, I'm not living under a bridge in a wheelchair. It's pretty fucking easy to bring the light, so I'm fine. But if it wasn't, I'm still trying to bring the light. It's just an ear snot board, straight up. It's not like what I feel like. It's just obviously I'm a pro skateboarder. <laughs> I'm looking at that now and it's like, yo, like, shout out to like younger Kunle, like going through it, like, it all works out.
Mark is the shit. Look at this picture I have of Mark. He was trying to kick flip a bike and it was just like, yo. Yeah, it's like, yeah, of course you gotta try that, dude. That, that's in your head, you gotta make that happen. <laughs>